Hey, it is Bullfrog here. I'm here with Lanky, who is one of my young stag game roosters that plays an important role in my breeding program here at the farm. Lanky's father was number one, who was my Florida Cracker Game Fowl Broodcock that, as you may know if you follow this channel, I had to cull because he either got snake bit or attacked by a hawk, one or the two, and he had a deep puncture wound in his back that got infected that he couldn't recover from. And so that left me in a dilemma. I have Florida Cracker Broodcocks on a few different farms in North Florida. And so it's not that the breed's going to go extinct just because I lost number one, but he was the best example of the breed that I had. And my goal in 2022 was to do two things. I was going to infuse him over all of my pure crackers and line breed him to his daughters and his granddaughters and to his great granddaughters till they all basically came out as replicas of him. The second thing I was going to do was cross him to American game fowl that have traits similar to the Florida Cracker game fowl. And I was going to, to then infuse them into some Cracker lines to freshen up their genetics. I, I have noticed over the past year I've had a hard time with pure Cracker biddies getting coccidiosis once turned out to free range. So, and I've noticed that cross breeds where I cross the crackers to other breeds don't have that problem. Well, before number one's demise, I was able to make one half breed. This is the American half breed right here. He's half number one Florida cracker, half Donnelly blue face, American game fowl. That was a Donnelly, I think it's Donnelly, excuse me, but Bernie Donnelly from um, Columbia County. And uh, he's a beautiful bird, but what this video is really about is to show you a pretty, pretty radical transformation from um, 19 days ago. Let me show you what this bird looked like 19 days ago and compare him to how he looks now. And I'll tell you why this transformation has happened. It isn't just because he's aged in 19 days. There's more going on than that. On the left is Lanky, and on the right is a full brother to Lanky, fathered by number one and his same American game fowl mother. And that bird on the right is one month younger than Lanky. Why is that? Well, let me tell you how. Uh, coming up here, I'm going to show you some pictures of Lanky after he was taken off of free range and placed in a coop away from Hey Hey. All right, so this is after Lanky has been in the coop for about seven days in this picture, six or seven days, and now here he is at 19 days. Look how much he matured in that short amount of time. Why is that? Let me tell you, um, the reason that Lanky had a somewhat retarded maturation is because Lanky was under the domination of Hey Hey, my broodcock. Hey Hey is over three years old, three and a half years old. And what I have found is that my cracker birds, and I think this is true of all game fowl, if they are young males growing up under a mature male, the young males will delay their adolescence so they don't get killed by the mature broodcock who will see them as a rival. And as soon as you separate the young, what we would call a stag, the young game fowl cockerel, to a place where the broodcock cannot get to him, they will actually mature on out at a fast rate. Um, so this is basically nature's way of making sure young cockerels don't get killed before their time. They, they are not a threat to the mature broodcock uh, until they... Um, mature out. And by the way, that is his blue face. That's showing his blue face parentage. Here is Lanky as a chick. And you can see he's got low tail carriage. Uh, I believe he'll get that back later. Now this is a pure son of number one. Uh, big shout out to Malachi Hamilton. Uh, this is the 
best offspring off of number one I have ever seen. Uh, I sent Malachi some hatching eggs right before number one died. And he, he is the person who has the other half American, half, um, uh, cracker stag that I just showed you in this video and is also the person who's got this beautiful, beautiful full-blooded cracker shun off of number one that is an almost perfect replica of number one. So congrats to him. Uh, he's the only person in the world that I know of that's got such a perfect son of number one and has um, one of my American to number one crosses. So go check out Malachi's channel. I'm going to put it in the description of my video. He's he's going to get an up-and-coming channel going. Um, I'll probably, hopefully, be getting some hatching eggs off of Hamilton to re-infuse that most excellent stag back into my bloodline. And I also have five sons of number one that I have actually grown out on an island that I'm going to go evaluate in the days to come and see if any of them um, are up to my criteria. And if they are, I might bring one or two of them back home and, and breed them back to my pure cracker. So anyhow, this has functioned both as an, as an update to the my breeding projects, but also just to show you um, something you might not have known about chicken biology, game roosters can retard their maturation to avoid getting killed by a broodcock. And so if you want to have slower growing um, roosters, leave them under the, the free range broodcock. If you want to have faster maturing ones, separate them from the broodcock early on. So this has been Bullfrog. Thank you for watching.